Good evening. Again, um, thanks to this committee for a great, great night. I think it's going to be a super Bethel tradition that started here tonight. I know there's a lot of people out there thinking about athletes that will be uh, nominated in the future. It's just a wonderful thing. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Greg Sutton, I had as a goalkeeper for three years at Bethel High School. Uh, Greg Sutton was a two-sports star, and today when we, we see coaches of nine-year-old kids telling them, you know, you just got to play soccer, none of this basketball, no baseball, you know, if you're going to play lacrosse, you can't play this, you can't play that. Sutton became a much better goalkeeper by having the experience he had as a Bethel, Bethel basketball player. What he did in his junior year compared to the way he played in his senior year was related to the confidence he, he got from playing basketball at a very high level in the winter before his senior year of soccer. He came back a different guy. Uh, just basketball was the reason for it. Um, it. It really brought him out of his shell. He became a leader in the back. Um, Sutton wanted to play two sports in college and wound up going to St. Lawrence when I think he could have played at any D1 school in the country. But I think St. Lawrence must have made some kind of deal that they'll at least give him a look-see on both sports. And he became an All-American in both at St. Lawrence. Now when he finishes uh, his years at uh, St. Lawrence, he goes to the Combine in uh, Florida for the, uh, the brand new uh, uh, MLS. And he's competing against the guys of all your Dukes and Carolinas and Virginias and UCLA's and St. Louis's and everything. He becomes the only goalkeeper drafted in two rounds of the MLS draft. Uh, his senior year at Bethel, he led us to a 17-0-3 record with a whopping three goals against in the whole year. I think a couple in the state tournament, but it was pretty much all over when he got off the bus and they saw his wingspan. Um, we, uh, some of these guys from this 96 team will let you know that we shot every day in practice. You know, we, they used to wonder why we scored so many goals. Well, we practiced shooting every day against the likes of Greg Sutton. And we used to get in a little semi-circle around Sutton at the 18, 20 yards out. And he took it as a personal challenge and he would, he would challenge these guys. He says, no one's getting one by me. And there were plenty of times when he'd go through 18, 22 players without letting a, go, a ball go by him. Um, dead balls from a short distance. So I don't know that there'll ever be another goalkeeper in this area like him. Um, you know, I see a lot of times things mentioned about some Redding kid that's playing baseball for the Pittsburgh Pirates. You know, Sutton's been playing professional soccer for a long time. Um, I hope that he gets some recognition around here someday, and this is a, a great start. He's uh, you know, still playing pro ball, uh, great guy, great pro. He helped with our BYSA soccer camps, great with kids. Um, so I'd like to welcome Greg Sutton up here. place where, you know, you, you wish to grow up, and, and I was thankful enough to do that. 
Um, on the sports side of things, I really, uh, really had a great time playing sports in, in Bethel. And, uh, you know, so many great coaches uh, who were able to, to help uh, myself and numerous athletes. And congratulations to the other coaches and athletes who were inducted in this Hall of Fame. I'm humbled by it. Um, you know, I, I, you know, the likes of, of, uh, of Ron DeSantis and, and, and Bud Carlson, I mean, you know, um, phenomenal people. And, and uh, you know, it's just a, a real, uh, real pleasure to be even uh, in the same, uh, same list as that. So, so thank you very much. And uh, uh, I look forward to seeing more people. I haven't seen a lot of people in a long time. It's great to see friendly faces. I feel like I've never actually left. And, um, but it's nice to be back. And so uh, thank, thank you for, for all that.